What's going on, YouTube fam? This is DK Betts coming at you again, live in my Corona Lockdown at the Home Drawing series. So we're gonna get started today on today's episode. We're going to draw this tube of paint. All right, okay. We're gonna simplify it using our basic shapes and make this pretty simple. Hopefully you can see these different colors here, okay? This is a drawing I pre-did, obviously. You have your rectangle here on the top. Another smaller rectangle, triangle, larger rectangle for the body of the tube of paint itself. And then for this portion on the bottom, we have another rectangle. Okay, so we're gonna break it down and draw this. All right. So you're gonna get your ruler out. I'm gonna use my clear straight edge today. <clears throat> uh, you can use a ruler or an edge of a book, any straight edge that you have, okay? I'm gonna leave this here as my, put it on the side as my little reference, okay? All right, so we're gonna go, we're gonna start from the center. The center, what I mean the center is talking about the larger portion of the tube of paint, right? We're gonna start with this rectangle here, which in the drawing would be this rectangle here from here to here. Okay, you can make your tube of paint as large or as small as you want to. I'm gonna draw it large enough so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So it really doesn't matter how wide you want it. You can be wide or thin. It's the principle of looking at this in terms of shapes that is most important, okay? I'm gonna draw, draw my line there, okay? Starting my rectangle, I'm gonna go down this side. I'm gonna make mine a little bit thinner. So I'm gonna come in some from that line, okay? So we draw a rectangle. Remember to keep your lines light, right? Don't draw them dark okay don't press down too hard on there draw another line down okay then i'm going to take my ruler and go straight across on the bottom so this is going to be the main body of the tube of paint next shape it's going to be the triangle right the next portion So I'm gonna start from this corner. <clears throat> Let me get rid of this extra line here. Okay, I'm gonna start from this corner. I'm gonna put my straight edge down, right? I'm just gonna make an angle. Doesn't matter whether it's up here or down there. Doesn't really matter. Just so that you're drawing a rectangle. You can extend that line out. What I want you to do is see how <clears throat> this is done. It's gonna give you the center point, right? It's gonna give you the center of this rectangle that you just draw if you do it this way. Go to your other side, right? From this point to there, right? I'm gonna draw another line. 
you can extend it out because what I want to see is where those two lines meet in the center, all right? So I can go back and erase the extra line, all right? Leave it right there, that's center. I want to leave that. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is draw <clears throat> that portion in between the top, in between the top of that triangle shape in the bottom of the cap, All right? So for that shape, I'm going to use a triangle, excuse me, a rectangle. So what I'm gonna do is go down into my triangle, as though I'm making, starting another little triangle inside of this one, okay? So I'm just gonna come down from the point uh, about one quarter of the way, all right? So I'll just bring it down some. If you bring it down a lot, that's fine. As long as you leave a nice little gap between there, the top, and the bottom of the triangle there. So I'm gonna draw a rectangle on top of this, all right? So I'm gonna go outside of the rectangle, the triangle that I just drew, just a little bit. All right. I'm gonna go up. Here's the point or the center point where the triangle met. I'm just gonna go up a little bit. Draw another straight line. And I'm gonna come down. Remember we talked about parallel lines, right? So this line here I can use to look at and make sure that the line that I'm preparing to draw is straight. So if it's crooked, I can see that it's not parallel. If it's too much space, if it's at an angle, I can look and see, right? So I can use that line here as my guide. Where your bottom, <clears throat> the bottom of your first line that you're drawing for this rectangle on top of the triangle. And the triangle itself, the small one that you just do the line through meets. That's where I wanna put my ruler and close off that rectangle on that side. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna find that little point right there and the point on the top of the line that I just drew. I'm gonna draw another parallel line. So this side I'm looking at, on this side I'm looking at that line. I want my line to be straight, so I'll hold my ruler like this. Draw another line. Make looking to make sure it's parallel. Okay, so I have a rectangle on top of a triangle. The last one <clears throat> is the cap. This cap. Here it is outlined in red. You can see the <clears throat> rectangle inside of that. So it's a larger rectangle. So I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna make it longer than this rectangle. So I'll start with my line. I can, I can actually use that same line that I have there and just extend it out a little bit. All right, how far it depends on how far you want or how wide you want your cap to be, right? And remember your parallel line, okay? So I know my line is straight. I'm using the edge of my ruler here and I'm looking at this line here. So I'm gonna come out. I'm gonna 
come out a little bit. Almost the same distance from there to there. If you're seeing a little bit more, that's fine. Like I said, it all depends on you, all right? Just draw a line straight up. Go on the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm looking at this line here to make it parallel. Draw a straight line up. And the cap is a little bit larger. The cap is larger than the neck here, all right? So I want it to be a little bit longer or wider rather than this space here so I can make it twice the distance or rather let's let's do one and a half times all right one and a half times the distance so I'm just looking I'm just eyeballing it draw another line make those meet all right now we go to the bottom We have this portion here, right? And if looking at it, it looks almost like a rectangle, which makes it a lot easier to figure this out, all right? So I'm gonna go to the bottom, the bottom portion of my rectangle that I first drew, that first line, and I'm gonna go down below that line just a little bit. And I want to make my, <clears throat> the bottom of this tube, you see it flares out here, right? Goes out wider than the tube itself. So I'm gonna represent that by making this rectangle wider. How far? Uh, I just eyeballed it basically. Just take it out. Okay, I'm gonna come down. If you were measuring, you can probably make it about three quarters of this distance here. If you wanna make it all accurate and whatnot, but we're just having fun, so I'm just eyeballing it. I'll draw another parallel line. Remember, I can make it longer, wider than this. It's gonna be wider than this, so I can draw my line long, then I'll come back and erase the lines. And finally, right, using this edge as my guide, parallel line. I'm gonna finish my rectangle down here. Go on the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing using this as my guide to make the line straight and parallel. I'm gonna close this off, make these two lines, two points meet. All right, now we can get down to the details. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do is draw <coughs> the top. <coughs> I'm gonna freehand it, but you can use your ruler, I'll show you how to do it with the ruler. Okay, so I'm gonna trace this top line. Go to the next one. I'm gonna come down right there where the end meets. Go on the other side and do the same thing. All right. I'm gonna take my ruler and draw another straight line. So I'm actually using all of that rectangle. I'm gonna use all of that rectangle. And if you want to add some detail, 
what you can do is use your ruler to make little parallel lines in here, right? Which represents these ridges inside the cap. I normally just eyeball it. But I'm gonna show you how to do it with your ruler. So you go from the inside to the inside and you put a, have a little space and put another line right next to it, right? So what I'm creating is two lines, two parallel lines, one a little bit space in between, all right? And I'm gonna keep going all the way across, all right? Speed it up, I'll just eyeball them. Okay, my next line. Now, on this line here, I know that it doesn't cut at that angle there. It actually curves a little bit, which makes it a lot easier when I'm drawing this line because I have something to follow. I can go right from the straight line or just curve it right on around onto the triangle line. Then I can use my ruler if I want, all right? and continue that line. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Bring that line straight down, then I'm gonna curve it a little bit so it meets that edge of that triangle line. <clears throat> Don't forget, all of your lines that you don't need, make sure you erase them, okay? As you're going through your drawing, get into the habit of cleaning up as you go, all right? Cleaning up your drawing as you go, okay? There you go. Now you can see what you're working with. We're gonna move on to our rectangle, which is the body, the main body of the tube of paint. Just so gonna follow my rectangle. I already have it nice, nice little model there. I'm just gonna follow that line down. Go to the other side. If you want, you can round it off a little bit. Use my straight edge on my ruler. I'm gonna bring that line all the way down to the top of my next My next line. Okay, on my tube of paint, I have a little curve right here, right at the bottom. So, where my rectangle, my last rectangle down here on the bottom is, we're going to go down a little bit from the top of it. All right. Draw my line. Remember, I already have my guidelines because I drew my rectangle before, okay? Then I'm gonna come at an angle, okay, and just curve it around and have it to meet that line. On the same thing on this side, just curve it, right? Have it to meet that line. 
all right? Then I'm gonna finish the triangle, okay? And there's the basics of my tube of paint. Now you can just go off with the details, man. Hey, I'm gonna show you some basic stuff I'm gonna do. This is a stencil that you can buy at any, um, you can get it offline from Dick Blix. Um, what's another place? Uh, any office supply store. If you don't have it, you can just use whatever you have available. A top, a top of something, all right? Okay, I'm gonna use the top of my graphics. So I'm just gonna draw a circle in the center. I'm gonna move it up, all right? I don't want it dead center, I want it closer to the top here. All right, draw a circle. It's gonna be part of my label. Then I'm gonna take another line, all right? I'm gonna just go above the circle a little bit, draw another line. And I'm gonna come below it, just a little bit below it, and draw another line. Bam, now you have your label. And you can do what you want in there. Yeah, you can draw another picture in there, color it. You can color code it. You know, if you want this tube of paint to be blue, you can color around it or color inside. Uh, you can write letters. Yeah, you, can, you can just go off with it. Okay, there's a little area here. Um, there's a little crease or a little fold right in here. So what I do is Where my triangle, where I put my little curve at, I can just go right inside there and just draw a little oval, right? A little long oval, right? So that just shows that there's a difference in elevation, right, for that. If I wanna put a highlight onto my tube of paint here, I can just put another little rectangle right on the side, right? I want to continue it, I can put another one here, right? Not a little rectangle on the bottom here. I can show a little separation between this little, this little fold here and the bottom of my tube of paint. So I can put another line there Another little oval, right? Doesn't have to be perfect. All right. And on my tube, I have some numbers down here for manufacturer's numbers. So, I mean, like I said, you can just go off with this thing and create all kind of details on it, color it. You can make this silver cap white, black, green, brown, blue, do whatever you want with it, right? Have fun with it. So that's today's uh, drawing lesson, man. A show you how to draw this tube of paint, how to break it down and just make it real simple, okay? All right, fam. So hopefully y'all have fun today. I will see you on tomorrow with our next Corona Series drawing lesson. So y'all have a good one. Take care. Be safe. Peace.